So in today's episode, we're going to talk about pivots and turns. Again, in, in the real world, threats don't always present themselves straight down the pipe and right in front of you. Sometimes they come off to one side or the other. Think about military and police personnel where this could happen to them. Again, when pivoting and turning, you don't ever want to step back into an unknown. What many people will say, well, you've just walked through there and it's clear, and yes, that is true, but you still don't want to step back. You run a bigger risk of tripping stepping backwards than you do stepping forwards. So if I'm going to turn to the right, I'm actually going to plant my right foot, pivot on it so that I remain into my shooting stance. If I was a left-handed shooter, then obviously it would be differently. I would still be pivoting uh, to that side, but again, what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to be careful about how I place my feet. So in other words, I want to always stay into that shooting position. So again, if I'm a left-handed shooter who's pivoting to the right, I don't have to come around as far. I can just bring the gun up from that position there. Turn right! When pivoting to the left, I'm going to pivot off that left foot. Okay, switch on. Don't f this up. Because this is the one too where you may make the mistake as you start to come around, you bring the gun up and you muzzle the guy next to you. The gun doesn't come up until you're clear of the guy next to you. Why? Because you don't want to take him out of the fight, obviously. So again, gun doesn't come up until we've turned, but the head snaps. I'm going to start out by having you turn to your right, okay? Ready? Turn. Right! Come on! Come on! Back it! Six is clear. Good. Right! So my name is Earl Green from Phaseline Green Tactical. We're here today with Funker Tactical. And hey, if you like what you see, why don't you comment and subscribe. So we were just doing some uh, turns, uh, left, right, and 180 degrees. Uh, we were doing it at about 10 yards. Uh, take you guys over to my target, we'll see how I did. Wasn't the fastest I could do it, but if you notice, I mean, this target was used before I got here, but most of the hits are definitely within the zone here. I mean, honestly, I only put about four or five pieces of tape on my white paper. I had nothing outside of the, uh, the six ring here. Um, probably don't believe me because it's covered in tape though, but maybe we'll see after. Now that everything's taped up, you can believe me. So this is an important drill because? This is an important drill because if you're going to be doing turns, which you probably are because the chances of somebody coming at you from the front is probably quite slim. They're going to be coming at you from the rear or from the side where you don't see it. So practicing where you're going to be looking um, before you turn so that you see your threat turning properly and engaging your target, making sure you do it properly is definitely like good practice. I mean, you don't want to f it up when it uh, when it's time to come, right? So that's it.